So this is the uh, over life size, larger than life uh, bronze head uh, from the Ming Dynasty. It's from the uh, primordial sovereign of the colored clouds of dawn. Uh, in Chinese, we say I say Bixi uh, Yuan Yun, but how, how do we how do you say that in Chinese? Okay, so I won't try to, to repeat it, but uh, she is one of the most important uh, uh, goddesses in ancient China, and uh, she preserves the shrine in uh, Mount Tai, no less, one of the World Heritage Cultural Sites of China, one of the most important ones, and the shrine is still there, and there is a, a um, statue of her there, uh, a big one, life-size, but that is modern, so we don't know where this one came from. It was found in a collection in, in New York uh, City about a decade ago. Uh, it was originally sold by Lark Mason. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's, eno it's an enormously heavy, large, and richly uh, gold or gilt uh, uh, bronze head. It's very, very heavy. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's neatly incised, but we can also see that it has lost some of its attributes. Most of it is still there. The, the character is still very strong, but it's clearly been torn off a statue, as we can see here uh, uh, from these remnants of her color. Uh, and that statue probably had a, a, a height of like two and a half, three meters, must be an, an enormous, and it's probably the largest bronze head, gilt bronze head from the earlier Ming dynasty that, that ever appeared on the auction market. And um, it's a bit uh, also uh, a, in reminiscence of the uh, big animal heads that were stolen from the uh, water fountain in the, in the summer palace of Emperor Qianlong. Um, had this marvelous fountain, the zodiac fountain, with the big bronze uh, uh, statues, and they the, the were all looted and stolen. Some of them uh, disappeared forever. Some of them were found. We have all the story. Uh, most of them are now back in China, thank God, and um, were recovered one way or the other, made their way back to China. And this is a bit of a, a similar story, I think. It's probably the, the rest of the bronze was, was melted uh, uh, for the bronze value and only the head is left now. But I think, you know, in, in, in this five, six, seven hundred years since it was made, it's not lost a, a, a tiny bit of its, of its strength and its character and wisdom at the same time, which is something that, you know, I, I mostly find in Chinese statues and not so much in, in, in European statues. So I think this is a really impressive example.